thank you for watching my video. Today I am doing a dark lip look with a very natural, fresh, matte, palish face. It is actually inspired by this photo here on Pinterest. I like trying to make my hair like her too. I saw this a while ago and yeah, just the contrast between the light skin and hair compared to the dark lips and everything. I just find it very beautiful, but nevertheless, let's get into the tutorial. Alright, so I'm going to start by priming my face, of course. And this is going to be a talk through video. Well, not talk through necessarily. It's not going to be a voiceover because I realize that I haven't done a complete video with no voiceover since my first video. Okay, so yeah, now I'm doing foundation. Dewy and Smooth by Maybelline. It's in, I think it's in like ivory. Porcelain. I knew it was some kind of like pale name. Okay, so for concealers, I'm going to combine these two highlighting concealers, also by Maybelline. One's radiant, one's ivory. One's a little bit more neutral yellow tone, one's a bit more pink. Uh, just because I'm trying to make it super pale and bright because that's how she looks in the photo. I'm going to set now with the Rimmel Stay Matte and Transparent. I'm going to use the same powder to set my whole face. I'm going to do any bronzer. It's kind of hard to see her face with the angle, but yeah, it looks like her whole face is just pretty one colored, flat, really pale. So, but her eyebrows are really dark compared to her hair and really defined. So, I'm gonna work on the brows now. I use pencil or powder or whatever. I've been setting them, setting the brows with gel first, then using the product. And I just feel like the product comes out a lot better because it makes the product have more of like a gel consistency and it's just like easier to work with. So that's what I've been doing and if I feel like my eyebrows are still not in place enough I set them again after as well. So I'm outlining the brows a little bit thicker than normal because that is how the girl in the picture looks. I don't know, hers look a little darker, but I'm not going to do the exact look. I'm just going to do what I like for myself. It's just based off the photo, you know? Okay, so it's really hard to see her eyes. I'm not sure if she has any eyeshadow on even. If it is, it's very minimal and light. I just zoomed in. So I'm just going to do something real natural. I'm actually not going to use primer just because I kind of put my concealer up there and I don't really have oily skin so I don't always feel the need to wear a primer especially for a more natural look. But with the Kat Von D Eye Contour Palette, I'm just going to combine the peachy tone and light brown tone over here in the crease. When you do more natural looks, I do recommend using mattes just because they look more natural on the skin because obviously your natural skin isn't super shiny and shimmery. Alright, then I'm just going to go ahead and put the large cream shade on my eyelid. I'm going to use this shade. It's a bit more white than that top shade to just go under my eyebrow. I'm gonna do for eyeshadow. I'm gonna jump on to mascara. What I'm doing is I started with CoverGirl Clump Crusher and kind of focused it from the mid lash to the top. And now I'm taking Maybelline Falsies and just focusing it mostly on the base. And that's how I've been doing my mascara lately. 
I really like falsies, but the one thing about it is it's really wet formula, and it can make your eyelashes clump. So I really scrape a lot off before I use it, and I think it works better that way. And I did get some smudges, but I'm just going to wait for it to dry and then I'll take it off. I'm going to add a little really natural looking blush. So I'm going to take this peachy shade Lucid from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette and just a little on my cheeks. I'm going to use this highlighter in the Hourglass Palette, the Ambient Light. I'm going to use the middle one as a highlight. Her eyes are very open and bright, so I'm going to apply this nude liner by Milani in my waterline. These are the crazy faces I make when I put on my makeup. I know they look so crazy, but just can't help it. Alright, I really wish that I had a really dark lipstick like this. I need to go get one, but I'm going to use about the darkest that I have. It's a dark purple sangria by Milani. I really like Milani in case you can't tell. First I'm going to line them with Plush Plum by Jordana. Okay guys, that is it for this look. I haven't on to call yet. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!